Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Pisces Soul Tribe, what's going on you guys? Um, hopefully this message finds you in good favor And that you all have been doing well on, on your journey And if you haven't, my intention is that a word will be spoken today That will um, inspire you to keep on going, inspire you to keep moving So I want to get into a read for you guys But I specifically want to get into what I want to call Confirmations I feel like maybe you've been seeking like some guidance. Maybe you've been looking for something that would confirm or adhere to um, and maybe solidify some belief that you have in something you want to execute. Um, maybe a possible dating scenario because I keep on seeing um, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. But let's get into a read, you guys. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something special. I'm going to do three different decks today. And I'm get three different confirmations and I'll just name them confirmation one, two and three. So for the first um, confirmation, I'm going to use the light seers tarot deck. Um, sorry about the light background noise. Got a lot of movement going on today. But we'll see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Pisces soul tribe on possible confirmation number one? <clears throat> so the death and the rebirth What's the death and the rebirth spirit um, The hangman And what else There seems to be a changed perspective Like I feel like there's somebody here Who knew that they needed to become a leader and like, I feel like there was a lot of introspection that possibly had to happen and also a change of perspective so that you can approach this into a manner into which you would stand strong, that you would stand powerful, that you that you do need to change. I do feel like this is somebody who is possibly struggling with this sense of change. But like, I feel like when you put an end to something, um, something definitely uh, will be reborn from this. What else, spirit? Yeah, with the high priestess, somebody's um, intuition is very strong at this time. I also feel like this is someone who's really, truly trusting in themselves and trusting in what it is they believe. Um, the downloads that you've been getting from the from the divine. I feel like you've been utilizing this information as guidance in order to direct you into places that you want to be. I also feel like this um, intuition that you have actually grounds you um, in, in a way. This is something that's rooted very strong in you um, and also has been very present since you since you were um, a baby what else spirit queen of swords i feel like somebody's really truly um being guided um and being led i feel like you're also somebody who is smart i feel like you're also um, a reflection for a lot of people and like I also feel like people are discovering a lot of truths about you a lot of people wonder um, how you understand and know what it is you know um, a lot of people feel like you also are using your intuition to really truly guide you also into spaces that you want to be and also um, put, putting you in the space where you honestly dominate dominate the field um, somebody's intuition is very strong and very important Especially with the Empress um, here at the bottom of the deck. What else do we have here, Spirit? What other confirmations? Um, the Chariot in Reverse. So something definitely seems to be on hold. To seems to be on pause because like I feel like there's something that you're still possibly trying to discover. I feel like a decision needs to be made to put something to an end because also with the death and rebirth, something had to die. In order for something to be reborn, in order for a perspective to change, for some sense of enlightenment, somebody's really truly been enlightened um, into what direction that they need to take. Somebody's definitely supposed to be in a leadership role, but I also feel like there's some contemplation about is this something that you really truly want to do um, with the judgment at the bottom of the deck. There seems to be some sense of surrender um, that needs to happen, but let's see what else is going on. What else, spirit? What else do we have here for confirmations? Yeah, um, the three of wands. So it seems to be something, something's on hold because something is being brought back. 
um, something that you possibly need to deal with, something that you possibly need to put it in. We definitely have the three of um, pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So it seems to be some type of collaboration, some type of um, possible work in it. But I feel like this is more so a collaboration that you have with somebody personally. Because I don't really truly feel like you making these strong decisions and really contemplating some sense of truth or some sense of execution um, that you need to make. Um, just based off somebody you don't really truly know. What is the Three of Wands spirit? What other confirmations do we have here? Um, the yeah, um, the Five of Swords. I'm feeling like um, somebody is conflicted. Like, I feel like somebody really truly had to uh, put an end to something, but they had to put an end to it um, in many different ways. Um, I also feel like this is somebody who really truly didn't want to put, put this to an end, but I also feel like this is someone who's dealing with those thoughts of um, how things transpired um, and also how things have happened. And it's like, yeah, you you are out of it. And seemingly for, for this present moment you got the victory out of it but like i feel like you had to do a lot of things that you really truly didn't want to in order to get that victory and it definitely is some type of love scenario with the lovers coming in like i feel like this is somebody you did have love for but i also feel like this is somebody who possibly mistreated you as well what's the conflict yeah it's the devil um, I'm feeling like this is this is some some toxic behavior. I feel like this is also um, some some sense of illusion as well. I, I feel like somebody's been masquerading, um, and like I feel like this is some type of shapeshifter energy as well. I feel like this is somebody um, who knows how to be calm calm out in public, and when they get behind closed doors, they're actually quite a riot. Um, I feel like this is uh, um, also somebody who is um, emotionally um, manipulative um, as well. And like, I feel like this is also somebody who will keep you in bondage or present uh, some type of lustful activity or some type of desire um, to you and give it, hand it off to you as if it's some sweet reward, but inside of it is poison. What else, spirit? I feel like this is this is the thing that you need to put an end to. And like, I feel like this is your confirmation. Yeah. With the with the with the four of wands. I feel like this is definitely something that that you've had completion with. This is definitely something um, that you that you celebrate putting in putting an end to. I feel like this is a milestone for you too. And like I feel like although the victory and the battle was won, I feel like yeah there is some celebration behind this. But I also still feel some sense of grief behind this ending. And maybe that's also the thing that you need to over time over time i feel like that's the thing that you need to um uh, work on especially with the moon like i feel like there's some sense of clarity also that needs to be gained about this this situation so what's the outcome what's the advice spirit um the magician I feel like this is this is using using your resources, using your tools, using your good ideas. Like I feel like this is somebody who needs to creatively um, use some idea in order to manifest. Um, but we do have the nine of wands incoming. I feel like maybe you feel like um, some some idea that you have is blocked off from you, because like I'm not getting a sense of. But let's see, nine of wands and the magician. Yeah, the Queen of Cups and, and the Star. I feel like there's somebody here who needs to surrender. Who needs to be more intuitively compassionate. Compassionate in order to um, to manifest, to materialize um, a dream. Um, Ace of Cups. Some form, some form of um, overflowing love. Some emotion, emotional experience that um, hasn't happened as of yet because you're holding yourself back because you're guarded. And like I feel like you're so guarded that you you're actually even blocking off your own um, intuitive compassions. The sense of enlightenment that'll that'll unlock the barrier in order for you to get your dreams to manifest your dreams with the hierophant. Some sense of of commitment that is that is real strong and real grave with the sun. Like something's being going to be made very clear. What else? Very last few. 
So the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of and the Four of Swords. Like, I feel like someone really truly is um, guarding their heart space and guarding that thing that's very close to them so that they can manifest what it is they truly want with the Ace of Pentacles um, coming in and the Eight of Cups. Like you're walking away from something, walking away from something into um, emotional enlightenment. Um, dreams realize your nine of your nine of cups essentially but the ace of pentacles is is something very very grounded and something that will truly stabilize you um, after you have meditate you heal and you you put an end to this this um, toxic cycle well you guys hopefully um, the message resonated in some way shape form or fashion from you and you were able to gather something that it is from you um, that you needed from this. If you need anything from me, those details are down below in the description box. But on to um, reading two. Hey, you guys. Okay. So confirmation number two. So for this confirmation, I'm going to use the, the Urban Tarot deck. Um, so I'm going to get that's confirmation number two. And we'll see what message Spirit has for us. Spirit. What message do you have for us as far as um, confirmation number two? Uh, the universe. So the world. So an ending of a cycle. Something definitely um, has come to an end with the world. And then we have the five of, of swords. So something definitely um, is over here. Um, I feel like this is something that was quite treacherous, honestly, with the five of swords coming to an end. I feel like this was also something that needed to happen. Um, the star did flip out in the reverse. I feel like there is a, a, a broken dream here. I feel like this was once somebody's wish fulfillment, some relationship, somebody believed it once upon a time, believed in a relationship, um, definitely with the Six of Swords. So somebody really, um, really truly believed in, in, a relation, in a relationship, but there was definitely something that needed to come to an end because like I feel like there may possibly um, been some, honestly, as a just toxic en environment um, with the Queen of Swords coming in with the justice at the bottom, bottom of the deck. I feel like like this is somebody who is all about a lot of action um i feel like this is also somebody who would do and say anything um it is they need it it is they needed to do in order to keep you around spirit what's the seven of yeah seven of cups so i feel like there's definitely some sense of over overindulgence here um some some so definitely some toxic um environment and it definitely seems to be along the lines of um illusion lust and passion honestly um with the chariot at the bottom of the deck like i feel like somebody's definitely um moves very very fast um i also believe this is also somebody who tells a lot of lies and who deals um in a lot of secrecy um, as well, I'm getting the feel that um, somebody definitely um, was overindulgent um, um, in the sex department, honestly. Um, let's see what else we have here, Spirit. What else do we have here? Yeah, with the Eight of Cups um, at the bottom of the deck. Like, I feel like there, there was um, a, a lack of a lot of passion here, lack of a lot of desire. And, like, I feel like this was something that you once were very filled up by. But, like, I feel like the illusion definitely is coming to an end. Um, somebody definitely also is going um, in some sense of order or, or what an order feels like for them, the, what an order feels like for them or for you. Um but somebody definitely is walking away from something that that really truly um, doesn't fulfill them in any type of way. And it's almost like if you don't have the emotion or the passion for it, um, you really truly don't want it. It's not fulfilling. What else? What else? We do have here, spirit, the hangman. Um, there's definitely a change of perspective. I feel like with the ending of something or with the walking away of something, there's a change of perspective of on how you view relationships or definitely um, the pace you choose to take in how you deal and choose to deal with relationships. What else, Spirit? Mm. 
Yeah, we have the strength um, in coming. Like, I feel like somebody is is gaining the willpower. Somebody is very strong. Um, I feel like there's also a strong connection um, to spirit here as well. I feel like somebody um, went went to the guidance of spirit when, when something really, truly didn't work out. And, like, I feel like this is something that you always used to do. But while you were in this relationship, that was something that you really, truly didn't seek after. I feel like somebody um, has definitely... Um, have had a change of perspective on where it is they feel they draw their strength from and like I feel like this is somebody who knows their help comes from the divine spirit what else do we have yeah we have this justice in coming um there's a balancing out that's happening here um I feel like something is becoming fair um I feel like what where you are going in your life you feel like you're making the right judgment calls I feel like somebody is really truly walking in in a sense of unbiased truth and you're just looking honestly um to a space um where things are solid communication that is solid communication also um that is honest especially with the two of, of cups at the bottom of the deck i feel like somebody's just looking for a real relationship to be to be totally honest last few messages spirit what else do we have for confirmation Yeah, with the queen of disc um and coming i feel like somebody is honestly moving into moving into a space where um you become more stabilized where you become more grounded and like i feel like the intent and the purpose of um becoming this queen of disc this this queen of coins is to put you in a space where where you are at the top of the pillar what it is for you where you are totally grounded where you are looking after your family where you where you you know you like the way you look and you value that as well but like i feel like somebody's just moving to a, to a place where they are really becoming in charge of things where they really true are, truly are becoming um in charge of their life what else spirit last few messages yeah so the queen of swords and the queen of cups like this is definitely a powerful trio and when i'm getting a sense of somebody who is honestly really grounded um somebody who really truly understands what the truth is what true perspective is um someone really who who really truly sees people for um how people really truly need to be viewed i feel like you are somebody's mirror and like i feel like you're able to um gather some sense of emotion for how people may feel because um, you're a good listener. Um, you understand um, people's perspective and you understand their, their way of life. Um, definitely, seemingly, um, when you are having conversations with the people, with a lot of people, and you may not even know these people, but you feel like you strongly uh, relate to them because um, there's this intuitive compassion um, that you do um, possess um, with that. But like, I do feel like you feel like this is something you may not be good at. I feel like somebody would be a really good therapist um, um, here as well because there's just something that's very strong um, about the way you view and see people. What else, spirit? Yeah, with the seven of with the seven of swords, like I feel like even if somebody was, you know, trying to lie to you, um, you would see the truth behind all of that because you are somebody who is very, very um, well grounded. The only queen I don't see out here is, uh, is the queen of queen of wands. But like even without the passion, there's just this 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 drive um, that you have about the way you execute things. I also feel like this is somebody who keeps things on um, on a low as well, not a secret, but just something that's hidden because there's something that you're very masterful at. What's what else, spirit? Yeah, with the fool, with the fool and coming. And honestly, I'll leave it at that. Like, I feel like somebody has perfectly balanced um, to start a new life for how they feel a new life is viewed. And like, I feel like this is definitely something that you really, truly do need to keep to yourself. And I hope that this is very, very favorable um, for you because I feel like it could be. I feel like it will be, especially with the Queen of Discs, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups. You seemingly have it all. You seemingly have it all, and you're able to do multiple, multiple things. 
Well, that was the message, you guys. Um, hopefully, it resonated in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you were able to take something from it um, that it is you need. Once again, you guys, if you need anything from me, you can check those details down below in the description box. On to reading three. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to reading um, number three. So this is B confirmation number three, and I'm actually going to use um, the light workers um, tarot deck to see what confirmation number three um, could possibly be about. So let's go, you guys. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Pisces Soul Tribe um, for confirmation number three? Okay. So four of wands. So um, some sense of completion, some sense of, of success. I feel like um, with the success you are um, celebrating with people you know, people you really truly do care about, or people are really truly rooting you on or glad to see um, that you are back together in some way, shape, form, or fashion um, with the two of coins um, coming in. Like someone's having some success with, with a decision that, that you're choosing to make, that you're choosing to go after. Uh, it feels like definitely some opportunity um, with the queen of swords incoming. And like, I feel like there's a, a need to honestly um, think about what approach it is you want to take. Because like, I feel like with you making this decision, with you um, having this sense of knowledge, with this sense of direction um, that it is um, you're choosing to take, I feel like it's, it'll really truly be up to you on what success or victory you have, um, especially with the eight of coins just falling out. Like, I feel like there's something that you're really, really truly um, working on, that you're really thinking about. I feel like you're, you're trying your best to master, make sure you have all your ducks in a row before you approach something. Um, with the, with the devil, um, incoming. Um, I feel like this is some form of, of opposition. Um, I'm not really getting your energy behind it, um, but I do feel like maybe it is possible um, that this is another form or, or another decision um, you're choosing to make to not go after some some sense of, of completion, something that will seemingly make you happy or some form of partnership. What is this? What do you know about this devil? Page of Swords sideways. I feel like somebody's watching you. And like I feel like somebody honestly truly is eyeing you um as well. Because like I feel like somebody feels like they, they know something about you while watching you when seemingly that's not the case. I feel like I feel like what they I feel like what they think about you couldn't be more far away from the truth. And it's like it's honestly some kind of disconnected information. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords um, incoming, like there's some sense of doubt um, with whoever this person is. And like, I truly feel like with you standing your ground, with you standing, um, standing in your truth, I feel like you may possibly have this person stressed out because like, I feel like the ways that they that they used to approach you or the ways that they used to think about you or think about um, how they could manipulate a situation um, that that's it's no longer working. And like, I feel like this is putting this person in a space where they're really truly doubting um who it is they and um who they are as an individual because it all appears to be a mirage or a facade yeah with the magician um incoming like i feel like this is someone um who manipulates things and like i feel like they feel like with with an opportunity that's coming from you with you setting your priorities they feel like they have some type of ownership um in that because of the role that they played um in your life even if it was toxic it didn't matter um they were with you and and them in your life um felt like they made it made it some bet um some way in some f um, form of fashion they made it better when they actually made it worse you just weren't you just weren't speaking up about it what else spirit yeah, with the lovers. Um, this is definitely um, a, 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 a toxic um, cycle, especially with the seven, seven of cups um, um, incoming. Somebody was definitely overindulgent. And like, I feel like this is someone who utilized temptation um, as a tool to keep you bound. What else, spirit? Yeah, with the three of wands, this is someone who feels like they would always come back to you. 
or you would always come back to them with the three of wands like they feel like 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 with like they've invested something in you and them investing something in you means you're always supposed to come back to it that you're always supposed to bring some sense of value back um to what it is they feel like they've planted uh, um in you what else spirit yeah with the knight of coins like this is something that <laughs> that that's moving very slowly but like i feel like even even with this you're slowly moving away from honestly um this, this cycle of of always coming back of of spending the block what else with the will of fortune incoming like like this is definitely um a twist of fate and like i feel like this is you moving into those spaces where honestly you you're wanting to complete cycles or you're just wanting to be on the better side of things where 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 things were once barren and empty where there was no growth like i feel like there's an opportunity that's about to present itself that's about to open open you up to a field um that is full that is um that has plenty um that looks nothing like you um have experienced before or nothing like you're used to I feel like you're also coming into a space of leadership where you're becoming in charge of your life. What's the will of fortune, Spirit? Will of fortune is the five of coins. Like, I feel like somebody is also on, on one hand um, wishing some misfortune on you, hoping that if you do, if you did get on what you feel is the good side of karma or you feel like you are getting your rewards, that that very shortly after you will experience some grave misfortune. Um, I honestly feel like this is a space that you move, need to move away from if you haven't ended the cycle already. I feel like this is somebody who really, truly, honestly doesn't mean you um, any heart, um, any good, really. And like, I feel like this is somebody um, that if you did get 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 your just dues when you get your just rewards, I feel like this is somebody who will find slowly find their way or creep their way back in because they're experiencing some some type of misfortune because of what they did to you before. The secrets that they that they've been keeping, the lies that they've been telling, um, how they've been how they honestly have been just using your body saying that they love you but no they really didn't it was a mask last few messages spirit what else yeah with the justice incoming this is this is definitely some sense of karma um something something is definitely re being rebalanced um i feel like the treacherous treacherous roles the treacherous spaces um that somebody possibly in inquired you in and made made you be a part um to that um possible third parties um as well like i feel like like some sense of truth um is coming in to honestly slaughter the playing field to make things right to make things even to balance things out because like i feel like a lot of things have been hidden and a lot of things haven't been spoken up on and like i feel like you're moving into a space where um some sense of truth is going to happen that's go is going to be revealed to balance some things out especially um with the four um of cups here i feel like somebody was also a waste of time and somebody wanted to waste your time because they wanted to keep you away from something. Yeah, with the with the page of wands um incoming. Somebody was just, you know, moving very quickly and honestly very, very carelessly. And like I feel like this is somebody who really truly didn't think about what it is they were doing. I feel like this is somebody who just does things without much thought. Last last one, spirit. Yeah, with the with the chariot in reverse, um, this is somebody who wants to stunt your growth. They want they 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 want to stop um you from growing. I feel like this is also somebody who's honestly really truly trying to test you, and really truly truly trying to test to see if you are resilient, to see if you really truly will move away from them, and really truly um would um put an end to this um these toxic behaviors and these toxic um cycles. With the charity reverse, they're trying to stop um, some forward um, movement, trying to stop you from moving forward, especially with the Knight of Cups. Move you, move. They're trying to stop you from moving forward to a space where you're attracting really truly what it is you want, so you can really truly do the work um, to keep and um, maintain that. 
So Pisces Soul Tribe, I hope, hopefully these messages um, resonated in some way, shape, form, shape, form, or fashion, and you were able to gather messages um, that you needed um, from them to keep on going. If you need anything from me, you can check those details down below in the description box. And as always, Pisces Soul Tribe, conquer this day. Bye, guys.